Hi guys! So today I want to show you how to do this bird right here. Um, and if we have enough time, we'll do the birdhouse too. So there is my sample nail right here. And so I was asked how I did this. And I basically, it's kind of like a lead lighting with some hand painting. So some, you know, I, it's watercolors basically. I make paint into watercolors. So, so the background here, I used this. For, so you can use regular polish if you want. Just make sure it's really dry good before you start trying to paint on it. Um, and then these here, um, which is what I'm going to be using here today. I already went ahead and did this color. Um, and this is by um, True Gel. So it's a gel polish and it's already set. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that bird on this. So this is the stamping plate that I use. So I kind of use it for like my template. And so we're going to use this little bird right here and then part of this part of this branch. And with the bird, um, I did keep this one flower down here. And so then we're just going to paint it in with watered down acrylic paints, basically. So this is Bundle Monster 716. And I'll go ahead and put all the information of everything I use in the information box at the end. So let's go ahead and stamp that. And I'm going to go ahead and do it brown. Now you could do the whole thing, the branch and the bird, if you wanted to, in the brown. Uh, this is Bundle Monster, but, um, or you can do the branch in brown and do the bird in black, however you want to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oh gosh, I'm going to do right here um, and go ahead and stamp it and put it on. So do that much of the branch uh, and that one flower. And I'm using my Clear Jelly Bling Stamper today and let me get off what I don't want on here let me get it off so there is our branch and we're going to go ahead and put this on here um, and just kind of I did it a little bit at an angle a little bit diagonal Let's see and then we're going to go ahead and do our bird um, I you can do it in brown if you want um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do mine in black for the outline. You could do it in purple or whatever colors you're going to use on the bird, too. I mean, you could even do it in white. I mean, whatever you can, you know, if you can see it good. I'm just going to do it in black today, especially so that you guys can see, hopefully, a little bit better what I'm trying to do here, I hope. So we'll go like that. Get our bird on here. I'm going to take off the flower right here that I don't want and that branch that I part I don't want right there there we go so there's our bird that's what it's going to look like when we start and we're just going to situate him right so he's right on where we want him so that's where I put him he's sort of you know sitting on that branch so then we're just gonna get a like ceramic tile or whatever you've got that you can kind of you know water your paint down with, and um, and then just some water you know in a little cup or something, and and I'm gonna start with because um, I did on this one here a couple shades of lavender, lighter and darker, um, and then I also used the black, and so that's what I'm gonna do on the bird. So let's go ahead and do, I think I'll do these. So I'm just using acrylics. I'll put which ones I, you know, brands I use. My favorite actually is Ceramco, which is, you know, Delta, which is this one right here. I like this the best. But you can use, there's a lot of brands. You can get it to a craft store. That's a nice thing about this too is because it's really inexpensive. So you just grab a little water. Let me put this right here so you can see it. Just grab a little water. If you put a little paint on there, and then I think I'm going to add a little bit of white just to make it a little brighter, you know, so you, maybe you guys can see it, I hope, a little bit better. Um, I don't typically do painting on my tutorials, but uh, that's what I did on this, uh, you know, on this Manny. So, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of uh, fill in um, some color. Just kind of do it over this light right here, the light part. 
And it's just, you know, it's just watercolor basically is what it is. I just watered down the acrylic paint. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of the darker. Actually, it it's kind of, it's just a different shade, a brighter, kind of a brighter shade of lavender. And I'm going to put some of that with a little bit of water right there. Add a little bit more water. Probably got too much paint, but that's all right. It's pretty inexpensive. So we'll just do that. And then I'm going to add just a little bit, you know, darker kind of, or brighter, brighter, whatever. You could use a darker if you wanted to. Um, and you can kind of, you can kind of dab it if you want to, or you can just kind of paint it on if you want to. It really doesn't take very much either. So I'm going to do his tail up here, go up the tail, uh, all the way up there, take it up there. Um, and then I want to add a little bit up on his, on top of his head, because we're going to use most of that black, but I just, because I want that black to kind of look like a mask. Ooh, it's kind of hard to do upside down. That's all right. I can fix it. I can always add more black. That's the nice thing about this, you know, you can do it, you have the freedom to do it however you want. So I'm gonna move this for a minute out of my way, put the lids on them for a minute. Maybe I should not do it all the way. And then grab the black, and we're gonna add some black in there. Um, and I will put down what kind of brushes I'm using. This one here happens to be a silver ultra mini, and it's called a liner. Uh, brush so but you can use whatever you're comfortable with and the next one I'll be using at some point will be this one here and if I remember right it's by uh, light elegance and it's called a gel art brush and it's just a longer liner brush basically it's not the longest they make but it is a longer one so I'm gonna grab a little bit of this black a little bit of water a little more black a little more water until you get at the consistency and you know just practice I mean until you're comfortable with it and maybe you're already really good at painting and you know and watercolors so then it'll be a piece of cake for you and you can probably do even a better job than me so I'm just gonna kind of add back in a little more black because I want it to look like he's got a mask so I'm gonna add a little black under here too okay and a little bit more. And I'm going to bring some of that down. Just a little bit down at the breast of him. This is way easier when you're able to look at it yourself. But anyway, let me kind of look at it up here this way. So I can get it straight a second. My line. So it doesn't look like a done by a child hopefully <laughs> okay anyway so there that's how he's looking so far all right so I'm gonna add a little also a little more black down here um, on his wings so how do I want to do that maybe just sort of just kind of you know however you want it however you like it to look um, a little bit more, grab a little more. Okay, let me see. Um, maybe a little more, just a little sprinkle. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this lavender, probably the first one I used so that we can kind of make a spot where his we want his eye if you want to be able to see his eye and so we're just going to do let me look at it this way a second okay i'm just going to oh, if i do it upside down just a little eye no, that's probably a little bigger than i wanted but it doesn't matter you can always make it smaller with the block if you wanted to at least you can see it actually might be better so you can see it huh but anyway, just giving the idea, you know, how you can do it. You can, you know, make it as fancy as you want. 
you know, or not, depending on how much time you want to spend on it. I'm just adding a little bit, a little bit of block right there. And right, I think right there. Okay. All right, so now we're going to color in, uh, let's see, should I add back in a little bit more of this? Let's just put a little bit more of that lavender maybe um, up here so it's not quite as much black on that. This part right here, I just added a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, right there. Just a little bit more lavender back in there. And you can just kind of do that, you know, until you get it how you like it. Just kind of, you know, add some more back in there. Okay, so next I'm going to do some, I am have to add some more, um, on that flower. It's kind of a turquoise color. And we're going to do that. We're going to color in that, which is basically lead lighting, um, mostly what we're doing, with a little bit of hand painting, I guess, um, and some of it. So see that little flower down here? We're going to just kind of dot, don't fill in the dot if you, the center dot if you can help it. And try, if you can, stay in the lines. I'm doing it upside down, so sorry if I go out. So I'm just adding watercolor. And the thing that's nice about when you add the water to it, you know, it just softens it up a little bit. There. See, like that. And then we're just going to, I'm going to do kind of just a dab, dab, dab and add some more, like as if we had more flowers in here. So we're just going to kind of dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it. Little clusters right there. And then we'll do, let's see, maybe back over here too. Just do some clusters. Maybe I need a little more paint, more water. Okay, so we're doing, hope you can see, we're just going to do some more little clusters there, maybe some down here, and I'm sure you can do a better job when you're looking at it the right, <laughs> the right direction. Okay, those blobs are a little bigger than I would have done, but that's okay. You get the idea. So that's basically how I did that bird. I mean... Really pretty easy, huh? And it, you could make his tail longer if you wanted to, too, or you can stay with, you know, stay within the image. I made it longer on this nail here. I made it a little bit longer and a little skinnier, but, but basically, you know, there he is. Okay, so then you just, um, you know, you can use gel over it, or I just did Bundle Monster. And just uh, put that over it, kind of like that. Make sure your paint is dry, really good, so that you don't smush it. But the nice thing about the Bundle Monster Smudge Free is that for the stamping part of it, it's really good about not smudging it. So, okay, so let's go to our next one, um, which is the birdhouse. And I went ahead trying to save time if I can. And I just started it. And so all I did was I just used that same branch off of that Bundle Monster plate, the biggest part of the branch, which is, you know, right there where that brown is. Um, I just, and you can use whichever part you want or as much as you want, or if you want to use some with flowers, you can do that. But this is how I did it. And so I put that in brown, just like I did the other one. And then I just used my yellow um, Ceram Coat acrylic watered down and made my shape for the birdhouse. Um, and I didn't want to do my black lines first. I'm going to do them now because I think it looks better. It's more sharp that way. Otherwise, if I had done them first, I probably would have gotten yellow over them and I'd have to go back over them anyway. So this is the way I did it. I started this way. And this is the birdhouse um, right here. Um, and so we need to add this blue part right here. Um, and then we'll add the black lines. So let's go ahead and do... Um, the blue and let me grab that let me get some of my paint stuff closed up and out of the way and 
Okay, so this is the blue I'm using, and this one is actually by Deco Art. And so I'm going to go ahead and get this out and close up my black for a second. And then I'm going to use this, the shorter liner brush, first. So let's get some of this blue on here. Some of the paint on here. Add a little bit of water and a little bit more water. All right, and um, I'm going to go ahead. I, I think I might have to look at it. I don't know, so I can see how I'm supposed to do that. So see how we have to do the blue down the side like this to make it look like you're seeing the side of the little birdhouse. So that means I have to go out a little bit this way and down and I believe down and then do that line this way and do that line from here I think so see how I did it looks kind of funky right now but now we're just gonna fill in the blue so hopefully you can see what I'm doing so there we go some more paint, more watercolor paint, and go like that. And don't worry about it being perfect. It is a birdhouse. So, you know, get it as close so you're happy. And then, all right, so see, that's where we've got it. And now we're going to add, oh, that's right. So this, so also on the birdhouse, see that little, there's like the little perch, and there's a circle so the bird can go in. And I did that with blue, so we'll, let me look at it a second. Okay, so let me do that right now. Where do I want to put that up? It's probably this circle right around here for him to go in. So, and it's not going to be exact or perfect, but, you know, get it as close as you can. And then our perch goes this way. You know, and we'll get it as close as we can. But like I said, don't worry if it's not exactly perfect. Okay. So you're just creating an illusion. So we got that blue. I think add a little bit more blue to that hole, maybe. A little bit more blue. A little bit more blue. There we go. Okay. So now it's time for us to do the black. So um, I'm going to use the longer liner brush uh, for this. And I'm going to use the inside of this so that I can grab smaller amounts. And then I'm just going to kind of wipe it on here so that we have a thinner line. We don't have a clump of paint. And then I'm going to go. I'm just going to outline it, you know, as thin as you can. So, let's see, i got to look at my birdhouse a second, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go down here. I hope I can do this so it looks right, doing it upside down, but I'll try. Do the best I can. You'll do a lot better when you're doing it, you know. From your angle, you're able to look at it. Okay. And I'm going to do it over here too. And then I'm going to do it right here. Okay. Um, okay. That's where we are so far. And then we need to do this right here, the back part of it, the back part of the blue. So here we go. Hopefully you can see. So we want to go to this kind of like a, you know, corner or whatever you want to call it. You know where the roof. So we did the roof edge. Now we're going to do this that comes down the back of the house or whatever. 
side and then we're going to do right below and just go straight across as straight as you can <laughs> from your angle. Okay, now we got to do a line right here. So let me look at it a second so I can kind of see. Wait a minute. And if you have to grab some more water, you know, so you don't have a, your if your paint starts drying or you start feeling like you're getting a clump, just get a little bit more paint, you know, wipe off any excess. And then we're going to do our line right about where we did kind of a, you know, there's a little corner point, whatever you want to call it. And then we just go straight across as you can. Okay. So there we are, not too bad. <laughs> okay, so the only thing else on this, so now we have to go around our circle and our little perch. So we're just gonna outline it, that's all we're doing. We're just gonna outline, okay, let me look at my thing again to see how I'm doing it. Oh yeah, okay. So we're just gonna do a line on the bottom. Line on the bottom line up here grab make sure I got enough paint but it's also wiped off so I don't want any clumps and we need to do a little circle at the end of our perch okay you could do better than that I'm sure so can I if I'm looking at it from the right angle and maybe I'll try and add a little thickness to that bottom line so it doesn't look quite so there okay so there's our perch, and now we're going to just do the circle around the hole. We're going to outline the hole. I'm just going to add a teeny bit of water, barely any water. And actually, okay, so just kind of, I don't know, dive in. Start wherever you want to start and just do the best you can, you know, outlining the circle. If it's not perfect, it's not perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have to get, I think my paint's drying out too fast. All right, let me see this. Okay, not bad. My line's a little thinner than I wanted it to be. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm trying to thicken it up a little bit. So uh, you want to make sure your yellow's dry in case you need to fix it or something. But you know, it doesn't, it's not going to be, it's okay if it's not exactly perfect. It's just a little birdhouse. Okay, so let me see. All right, and actually this one, see, look at this one. That one's not perfect at all. This one actually, I'm going to add a little more, a little more paint to it because that one on my finger is actually thicker. It is, it's thicker. It's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. Okay. And I kind of actually like it so it's thicker and not so perfect. Okay, let me see it. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it either. Oh, trying to do it upside down. I got to look at it for a second. I got to, oh, I think I did better before I looked at it actually. <laughs> That's okay. You get the idea. You'll do a better job than I am on this one. It's like, I, like I said, I'm not used to painting. So you are doing, this This part here is all free-handed. So this you know, part of the Manny is all free-handed. The other part is kind of partly, you know, as you saw, paint and lead lighting. So the only thing next we have to do is those little teeny lines that they have going on their diagonal and then a little hook. So let's go ahead and get that done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the hook first. Let's do that. Let's do that. There's the hook. And then let's do the little lines. So let me see how the lines are going. Yes. Okay, so it really doesn't matter. I mean, you could do the lines however you want. So let's just do some lines, some lines. And they don't even have to be perfect. 
And if you don't want to have to hand paint this part, you know, Clear Jelly Stamper, this is where I got my inspiration, is they have this image, actually. Um, and so you could just, you know, get their stamping plate and use their birdhouse image. It's adorable. And they have birds on it, too, that you can do, you know, layering with if you just want to stamp, if you don't want to do any hand painting. But I was asked how I did this, Manny. Sometimes it's kind of fun to do some hand painting and... You know, it gives you lots of options because if you don't have, you know, the stamping plate, I do plan on getting it eventually, but I just didn't have it. And I just, you know, I saw their little, you know, samples and I just fell in love with them. And so I did my own birdhouse and this is how I did it. So, so that's, uh, that's, there it is right there. Anyway, um, and I'm just going to put Bundle Monster over this. Like I said, you could put clear gel, uh, clear gel top coat over it if you you know if you wanted to and that would be great too so here's your here's the birds here's the you know bird house um, this one is the the one with the regular polish um, sample so anyway please uh, like and subscribe and click on the bell icon um, and so that you'll see, get a notice for the next new video, which will be really soon, next new tutorial um, on nail art. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.